Hello, it's a real pleasure to be with you from West London, from Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Chelsea facing Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Havertz. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. March. Alexis McAllister. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Enzo Fernandez. Well, Kai Havertz, a gifted, naturally left-footed player who can dominate any game. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key. Oh, Stuart, an opportunity. And it's in. 1-0. They breach the defence. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. Nil then. Moises Caicedo. On to Gross. March. And he takes it away. Joao Felix. Here's Chilwell. Enzo Fernandez. Havertz. Well, they know they need to stop him. Havertz! Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. Trying to deliver it accurately. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. He's protecting it effectively. And possession given away. Alexis McAllister. Pascal Gross. March. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Beck, really important piece of last ditch defending. Havertz and return to Havertz and space to cross it. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Well, Kai Havertz, very difficult to contain in the first half. How would you sum up his performance? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal... So, the beginning of the second half here at Stamford Bridge. Back. 
And he's missed it. Good heavens. Well, that's a big miss. That should have been the equaliser. Fernandez given away by Chelsea well as you can see Brighton are controlling the possession but most of their passing has been in deeper areas unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality they'll struggle to turn this one around no doubt they go to work moving it around again high quality defending Mateo Kovacic Collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Sterling. Sterling has it. Now with Havertz. Really good challenge. Pascal Gross. Sterling Enzo Fernandez Sterling Sterling well given the position he found himself in he really should be testing the keeper superb opportunity squandered and they will make the change now Fifteen minutes left for play. Out of play it goes, and it will be a throw-in. Chilwell. Mateo Kovacic. And Havertz. Fernandez. Vital piece of last ditch defending. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain no one is leaving because it's still close. And players waiting in the center. He must finish. Late drama here. Level once more. Incredible scenes. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy, certainly no stopping that. So, a level contest. 1-1. Still level, but Chelsea on the attack, near the end. But really sticking to the task defensively. Well, the electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. Mateo Kovacic. On the ball, Joao Felix. And back with Kovacic. Sterling. And on to Kovacic. Havertz must take the lead here. And they do. And with so little time left, that will surely be decisive. Astonishing drama. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. Oh, <laughs> 
And that is full time. Chelsea have prevailed. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, a standout performance from Kai Havertz. Not for the first time, you've got to say. Stuart, he really turned on the style. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game.